you know, back to sort of feeling different and isolated and not really fitting in growing up. I sort of fell into the counterculture, um, counterculture click, I guess you could call it. Just the kids who didn't really fit anywhere and liked weird things and liked creating. Um, I just, I don't know, I saw a lot of just a very sheepish mentality of absolute ignorant stupidity. Excuse me. Of just the masses um, flocking to their goofy collar t-shirts and their party lifestyle and growing up in a sheltered Christian home, <clears throat> the whole world seemed foreign to me. Uh, the things kids were into and talked about, the TV shows, the pointless things that they held dear, just seemed just absolutely worthless to me. Um, they didn't seem like real life, and it was like all of these pointless things consumed pretty much the majority of the people around me, going to parties, doing drugs, um, watching TV shows, uh, playing football, <laughs> and I, I, uh, my brother and I started skateboarding at an early age, sort of as a rebellion to um, the constraints of typical team sports and having, you know, a coach screaming down your neck. It was a, more of a creative sport because you, there are no rules, there is no set schedule. You do what you want to do, you make what you want to make of it. And that's what sort of drew, um, drove me to painting and drawing. Um, just the freedom of expression, the freedom to do what you want, whenever you want, and it's still painting. Um, I find my inspiration from everyone, from musicians to movies to other artists, contemporary and old. <laughs> so the way I draw my influences from um, is just anything I really can see. Like if I look outside and I see an interesting like shape of like how all the roads are laid out or like certain buildings downtown, you know, just kind of look at shadows and lights. And, like, reflections and I've learned about like reflective light a lot lately and, like you just notice the, these little tiny details that are like insignificant but they they can like put so much like beauty into something that just is there that most people don't even notice they'll just walk by it oh it's a building you know and uh, so I just look for that pretty much everywhere you know and like seeing other people's work, I just, I love seeing other people's work because it, it's like, oh, how did they make this certain part? How did they make that part, you know? Like what was going through their mind when they were making it? Like, but like with pottery, I've really started liking forms and vessels, you know? So I've been working towards like just making families or like groups of certain forms like they may not be like the same shape or size or like even like function basically it's just them as a group when you put them together they seem to make this like almost like environment you know around it so I don't know it's just it, you just gotta keep looking and like looking in the past looking at what's going on now, like, compare, contrast, compare, contrast, you know, and, like, the more artists you are around there, the better it ends up being for everybody. My influence is drawn from my life, my experiences, through the struggle of learning and text, and I'm also influenced by other people's struggles, and, um, I guess in sixth grade I was influenced to become an artist or make work and I made a small bookmark that said be an ace reader 
and uh, I copied the peanut image and the teacher said no you can't do that and I did it anyway and then it, it was entered into a little city competition and I won for that so you know it kind of proved the point where yeah, it's not copyright infringement if I'm not selling it it you know I don't want to make money about it I just want to make work and show it I've been surrounded by art my whole life my mother's a musician professional musician and now she's an artist as well so I think she always had that presence of art in my life and I did ballet growing up a lot too so I had that um, body association I feel like a lot with movement mm -hmm. and so I feel like I'm I've always been around it, but I didn't realize it was something I really wanted to do until I got into college. So that was kind of a shift. I thought I wanted to write more or write about writing, but now writing about art is also <laughs> could be a cool possibility. But I'm making it now because I just kind of fell into it and fell in love with it. And I don't think, you know, I, there were other things that interested me, but ultimately I felt like art was what I could make the biggest difference with or the biggest contribution to society with.